Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to a short and sweet and snappy and lovely and jubbly episode <coughs> Ismail to Jannah Ismail to Jannah <laughs> Anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, racism, discrimination against any minority, any religion or what not is all unacceptable and needs to be dealt with in the most severest manner Possible, especially at a time where we should be united and be holding those that are in power to account. People should not be afraid of their governments, governments should be afraid of their people. Due to their shoddy running of the country, especially during the Covid crisis. But rather, we are being divided on the basis of race and religion, and it seems every other week there's something divisive coming out and keeping us divided. Oh, I'm afraid. <laughs> Hold me, Will. <laughs> now that being said, yeah, when it comes to the Muslims, Tommy Robinson. Look at me, look at that. Katie Hopkins. Have you heard the news? I am a threat to national security. Britain's first, the Conservative Party, have all said vile Islamophobic tropes. But very little action is taken and we hardly ever hear about it. When it comes to black people, yeah, you've got presenters like Bill Maher who use the n-word. Senator, I'm a house <laughs> No, it's, it's a joke. He's still doing his thing. You had Nick Ferrari, yeah, a presenter on LBC. He told a black woman, if you don't like it, why don't you just leave? But if it offends you so much, how do you manage to stay here? I find that a really strange thing to say. So there's nothing in Britain that bothers you. Sure, but I don't so want to pull it down. So why is leaving an option? But I don't want to pull it my down. Country. There's constant monkey chants and throwing of bananas during football games. And let's not forget Boris Johnson who called black people pickaninnies and people that have watermelon smiles. He now is the prime minister of the country. But what was interesting was last week the godfather of grime himself, Wiley, made a few controversial tweets in which he made some allegedly anti-semitic comments. Here's what happened in a number of days, yeah? Number one, he got a week's ban on Twitter. Instagram and Facebook have got rid of him totally. Number two, his management has dropped him. Number three, the police has launched an investigation into this matter. Number four, Downing Street got involved, yeah? The Home Secretary Preeti Patel was openly calling social media to account. Number five, the media gave it full coverage and even international media got involved as well. Number six, some prominent celebrities, the likes of Alan Sugar and Sophie Ellis Baxter and so on, staged a walkout on Twitter. Now, I don't know about you, but when we compare Islamophobic things, racist things and anti-Semitic things, we can see a disparity in the way all three have been handled. Will we now start hearing Hey, all religions matter mate, yeah? It's not just your religion, all religions matter. Just like we were hearing all lives matter during the BLM marches. Are we gonna hear? Oh, it's freedom of speech. Why are you curtailing our freedom of speech? That we hear whenever Islamophobia is brought up. Of course we're not. And to be fair, it doesn't make sense. Just like it didn't make sense there. As parents of numerous children or teachers in a class, there is an obligation for these adults to exercise justice and not show favoritism. Now this is even more necessary for our rulers and leaders because their actions affect us all. Let me clarify, speaking against Israel, speaking against Zionism, being pro-Palestinian should not and is not anti-Semitism. People are hijacking valid anti-Semitism and copy-pasting it everywhere. And to be fair, the disparity in which this case is being dealt with compared to the others I think is going to further ostracize the Jewish community because the amount of times I've seen quotes like this to learn who rules over you, simply find out who you're not allowed to criticize. What do you guys think about the matter? 
Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Do you feel I left something out? Let me know in the comments below. And guys, let's leave it there. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.